In other news, Parliament has approved a $2 billion loan facility for the Ghana Cocoa Board to purchase cocoa beans for the 2016-2017 crop season. The fund is expected to be used to purchase 900,000 metric tons of cocoa beans. The credit facility is an agreement between Cocoa Board and a consortium of several international and local banks with the government of Ghana as a guarantor. The $2 billion figure is higher than the $1.8 billion that was approved and raised by the board in the 2015-2016 crop season to purchase 850,000 metric tons of the beans. According to the Finance Committee's report, part of the funding will be invested to improve roads to cocoa growing areas and other activities relating to the transportation of the raw produce from the farms to various destinations. But the minority in particular raised concerns about the huge expenditure by Cocoa Board. Three items, and these are Cocoa Disease and Pest Control Program at 304 million, fertilizer budget high tech. 380 million and then you have another item rehabilitation and replanting 154 million if you put these three items you are talking about 838 million Ghana cities which is twice the budget of the whole Ministry of Agriculture so it shows you the mismatch some MPs were against a proposed amount of $56,000 designated as legal fees to pay some lawyers representing the company in transactions will not want to work on matters affecting the institution. And you go and pay so much money outside. How can we justify this? Mr. Speaker, that is very serious. This year's projection of 900,000 metric ton does not necessarily mean that we are collateralizing 900,000 metric ton. Mr. Speaker, the 2 million loan is for the purposes of collateralizing 645,000 162 metric ton at a projected price of 3,100 US dollars. Others wanted the approval to be deferred, but the speaker intervened. I think that it is better to proceed that way. Otherwise, the likelihood that we will cripple the, the, the industry. The House also approved a request to waive stamp duty on the loan. Cocoa Board in February this year started repayments of its last season loan, which attracted an interest rate of 1.19%.